What's good? It's your girl back at it again for another video. Haven't made a <laughs> sorry, haven't made a video in a while. Um, February's here and I'm ready. I really wanted January to be over. I feel like it was one of those months that took ages to get over with, but now we're here. So today's video is going to be an entire makeup look with just cream products. Today is one of those spectacular Chicago days where, you know, it's like, it was like 20 a couple days ago and now it's like 51 and sunny. So I'm going to take advantage of this um, false spring and do a spring sort of makeup look <laughs> and i also haven't done a makeup video in a really long time so i just you know i just wanted to do one so yes using all cream products i just primed my face with a fenty primer which i stopped using for a while and now i'm back into it and i really enjoy it so yes cream foundation or like a liquid foundation cream blush cream bronzer all of that so for the foundation i'm using the stellar foundation I got this off Sephora when it was on, I think it's still on sale, but I really wanted to get a liquid foundation that is a little bit lighter. It's like in between a light and medium coverage. I have a lot of like medium coverage foundations and I enjoy them, but a lot of the times I find that, well, especially in winter, you know how it is, like your skin gets really dry. So um, I just wanted something that was more of like a, in between if that makes sense and I read the reviews I looked up pictures people really seem to enjoy this one I've really been enjoying using this I think it's that perfect sort of in-between coverage like exactly what I was looking for it's got a really nice finish too um, you know I'm gonna demonstrate uh, should I take my hoops off sometimes when I do my face I get foundation on my earrings and I'm just like but how did that happen so I'm using a sponge and I'm just going to set this down on my face. Granted, I have not used this particular foundation with just a sponge, like going straight in just yet. I've been using the Cover FX foundation because I'm trying to use it up, but I really love that Cover FX foundation. It matches my skin perfectly, and it's one of those things where it, I mean, yeah, perfect example of this was yesterday. My best friend and I went out to the club <laughs> yesterday and we went dancing, but I had my makeup on since like five in the morning because I had work. Um, you know, we really go hard around here. And by the time, like I had my makeup on, I don't, I, you know, multiple hours and it still looked exactly how I put it on in the morning. Very, very impressive. So yeah, cover effects has been great to me. And I don't even need to set it down with powder or like put any extra concealer on either. It's just, it's just been working really well. Speaking of concealer, I've really been enjoying not wearing concealer. Um, I just have not been putting concealer on my face. I just use a little extra foundation wherever I feel like I need it. But other than that, I've just been not using any kind of concealer like under my eyes or anything like that. Especially under my eyes too. I've really been enjoying just like not putting anything under there because for me, I find that under eye concealer just disintegrates after a couple of hours. So it's not worth it for me to go through all of that, like put all the stuff under there and then look at my face a couple of hours later and my dark circles are back there, except they look crustier, you know what I'm saying? So for that, I might as well just not put any under eye concealer on. Um, what I'll usually do is just put like a an orange eyeshadow under my eyes and that just takes away some of the darkness. Um, okay, I've been talking for way too long. Let's just get on with this. <laughs> okay, so did the face. I'm good with that. I know you really won't be able to tell on camera, but when I tell y'all that my under eye circles are literally purple and blue, I mean, I could try to get up in there <laughs> and show you, but it really won't show up on camera. Like, it's it's purple. It's pur like like this color, but darker. It's purple under here. It's just wild. Like, how does that even happen? <laughs> this is the only part of this look where I'm going to stray from my original vision. And I will go in with that orange eyeshadow that I mentioned earlier. You know, I just like I'm going to cover the purple just like a little bit because I'm not I'm not trying to look like the walking dead. <laughs> 
but I will just go very lightly. Okay, I literally just fed my Tamagotchi and now it's hungry again. <laughs> okay, mood, but like, don't do that. Okay, eyebrows are on and now we move on. So I'm going to be using this cream bronzer from Milk. This is the stick bronzer baked. I really enjoy this bronzer because it's really easy to blend and I find that the color is really nice too. Jesus, Tamagotchi is really going off, huh? Man, um, <laughs> the color is really nice too. It blends really easily. I find that it's super buildable too. And it's one of those things where you don't really need to set it either. You know how some cream products you put it on, put it on and then you're like, ooh, this is sliding. <laughs> but this one doesn't do that. And I really like the tone, like I said, so. Yeah, we're starting off with this cream bronzer. I might build it up just a little bit more. I prefer to do that, like working in light layers and then. Oh no. Oh, I put that too low. <laughs> no. Okay. We're just gonna. Okay, that didn't work. So we're just gonna have to work with it. Again, story of my life. Don't know if the camera will really pick it up. But I tend to prefer a lighter sort of look. I don't like to go over the top with my base products. So just a light layer of bronzer. Now for the cream blush, I'm going in with the Glossier Cloud Paint. But I wanted to do a peach color. This is in the color Beam. And it's basically just that. It's like a peachy sort of corally pink color. Well, not coral. It's like it's not that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. But... It's uh, it looks like this. I what would you describe this color like peach pink salmon? Maybe a salmon pink. I don't know <laughs> Ugh. And I'm just gonna use my same sponge and Honestly, we're gonna go in we're gonna go in a little bit because I feel like Well, especially with this blush too. It's very buildable but cream blushes Generally tend to be a lot easier to work with you know since you're not just like putting on a powder and then it's kind of stuck there you can work with it and move with it and i don't know if you could see but in this particular area there's like a little bit of a glow so cream products have their perks they really do um you know especially if you have really dry skin or you just like a generally dewy look but you don't want to like pile on a bunch of highlighter or anything like that you can't relate but if that's your case and if that's your thing then you know cream products are the way to go they melt with your skin as the day goes on and then they just end up looking better and better at least in my experience so that's why i advocate for that now i will go in a little bit more because this is the first initial layer and while it's cute i'm trying to look healthy you know not that i'm not but where is this going? And for my blush placement, I've really been liking putting it on my cheekbone and kind of towards my temple like this. Kind of in an 80s inspired sort of placement. Um, no particular reason. I've just been liking doing that. And then I've also... I swear to God. I've also really been enjoying putting it on the bridge of my nose, kind of in like an e-girl sort of way, their makeup look, you know? Is that still a thing? I I don't know. I don't keep up with the TikTok kids. I don't know what they're doing, but at one point they were putting a lot of blush right here, like a little e-girl moment with like little freckles. I think that's really cute and actually, I just might do that myself. I don't know. But to top that off as like my starter highlighter, like the appetizer course of highlighter, I'm using the Milk Holographic Stick. This is in the color Mars. I have a lot of <laughs> Milk products and I think that they're one of the brands that really do it the best when it comes to uh, cream products. They're so easy to use and they last so long. Like, I swear to God, you will not go through something like this in a year he won't it's just it's worth the money I would say um, just for the value that you get like you like I said you won't use this up that quickly but anyways I think the their product design too is really user-friendly because a stick like this you know 
you can just use your fingers, pat it on your face. You can just draw straight on and then go in. Like it's not too many, you don't need too many other steps. Literally with like a cream stick, all you need is your fingers. That's it. You don't need any brushes. You don't need anything extra. And that's what I like about them. So I did that. I put a little bit of that on like the, kind of like the top of my cheek and then also on my cheekbone. All right, now if you've been on my channel before, you already know how it works around here when it comes to highlighter. We don't stop at one. We sometimes don't stop at three. We will keep going until you could see me from outer space and I'm not, jo I'm not joking. <laughs> But I'm gonna start off with the Milk, another Milk product. This is what I'm talking about. I've had this, I use this almost every single day for like the past maybe year and a half I've had this. Is it a year and a half? Definitely over a year. And I still, like, still have so much. And this will keep twisting up, so anyways. Not sponsored by Milk, but Jesus H. Christ, Milk, if you want to sponsor me, you let me know because I will sing the praises to wherever they need to be sung. This is one of the best highlighters I've ever used. And the weird thing is, it's like, I can't even describe if the color, like it's kind of almost colorless, which I feel like that could work for so many different types of skin tones too. It just gives this sort of like wet, glossy sheen. Um, <laughs> I don't know, It's it's it just doesn't have that much of a color. But it again, again, one of those things, you put it on, you don't set it with a powder or anything, and then as the day goes on, okay, you know what? You're just gonna have to give me a second because I'm going to put this Tamagotchi in my toilet. Be right back. I didn't actually put my Samogachi in the toilet, but you know what I mean. I, I put it away. <laughs> it was being too noisy. So then I'm also going to put <clears throat> some of that highlighter on the bridge of my nose and then under my eyebrows. So we're getting, oh, we're getting the full, full look here. And then for like a special little something, I don't know. Should we just completely lose our minds and go off. I think we should. <laughs> God. This is the Rituel de Fee Alchemist. Um, this is basically a cream highlighter, but it's called a highlight intensifier. So you already know that that caught my attention because, I mean, like I said, I love highlighter. And it is one of the most creamiest, most intense highlighters I've ever used. And it's in a cool tone, so I'm not gonna go too crazy with this. I'm just going to put this on, like put it on my ring finger and then just like touch my fingers together. And then I'm going to put this like at the highest point of my cheekbone and maybe a little bit under my eyebrows too. But the effect that this gives is just it's unreal. I'm putting some on my nose as well. It's so dewy and so, and the light just gravitates toward it so much. Um, you know, I, I, I went pretty sparing with it, but if you really want to go in and put this on your cheekbones, they will be beaming. I've, trust me, this really is in how it sounds. It's intense. So anyways, so that's done and I really, really enjoy the way that this is looking. I think that my skin looks like skin. You know, it's very, very healthy looking. So now we move on to the eyes. This is probably the easiest way to make it look like you've put some effort into your eye look without really doing anything. And it looks very editorial. This was a very popular makeup trend uh, a couple years ago. And it was the glossy eye. You know, there was like all those editorial pictures of these like really smudgy, super glassy, glossy sort of eyes. Um, you can use lip gloss for this, like clear lip gloss. But another milk product. This is the Bridge um, Eye Gloss. It's in the color Bridge. And it's basically just that, it's just a gloss, but I'll demonstrate in a second. I'll zoom in a little bit, but I gotta 
curl my lashes before I do this. The way this works is you just twist this up and I'm just going to put this on my ring finger. Again, rub my fingers together and then just tap this onto the eye. I think that tapping works better than rubbing. And I generally, as a good rule of thumb for most eyeshadows, uh, would recommend tapping and then maybe rubbing it if you want to. But the reason why tapping works a lot better is that you get a lot more of a concentrated amount of whatever it is that you're putting on your eyes. But it doesn't, like in the case of powder eyeshadow, it doesn't fall all over your face. So with this, I'm putting a little bit more of this gloss on, but really putting it mostly towards the inner parts of my eyes to make that gloss shine through. And I don't know if you can see, but it just captures the light really nicely in these inner portions. And that is the effect that I was really going for. And then I think to just add a little more, I'm gonna take that same highlight intensifier on my pinky and just tap that in the very center of my eye. So it gives a little bit of a sort of frosty kind of look, but it's still very glossy, very gleaming. You know, definitely like that glossier girl type of look. <laughs> this definitely works well for that, so. Okay, so put some mascara on, put my earrings back on, and this is the finished look. Well, finished face look, but we still gotta put some lipstick on. Well, lip gloss. So for the lips, I'm just going to <clears throat> finish off with the gloss. I'm using the Fenty Gloss Balm. We love the gloss balm. I'm almost out of it though. I have to like scrape the sides to get some. Ugh, man, I love this gloss so much. So that's really that on that. I, uh, I sprayed my face with my rose water toner. Well, you know what, I'll just do it again because you can never have enough. Uh, so I spritz my face with that and then I also spritz my face with the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist and I like to do both just for extra dewiness I guess and so very wearable great for an everyday sort of look and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one ciao